So I got a few minutes here. I'm waiting on dad's strength to finish these ends for me so I can get these planted. So while I got a little time, I figured uh, I'd go over the anatomy of an air seeder and how it works. So this is my air seeder right here, 30 foot, 15 inch rows. How it works is not to be confused with a vacuum planter. A air seeder blows. A vacuum planter sucks. So that's eh, kind of funny. But anyways, so a air seeder uses a hydraulic driven fan. I have seen some PTO driven ones, but this particular one uses a hydraulic fan. This hydraulic fan blows air pressure into this air box through this tube into this air box and it blows it around it's it's like 15 pounds of pressure not sure what this gauge exactly reads not sure how to read that I should know but I know in the book it's supposed to be between 15 and 20 so mine said it at a little between 15 and 20 so anyways <clears throat> with that air pressure it blows the beans well first of all it, it meters the beans the hopper meters the beans into these cups this turns and these wheels kick the beans out when the bean falls out it blows through this tube now when these turn this is what makes my population so I need to speed those up or slow them down depending on what population I want so so far this year I've actually planted everything in a brown 150 to 160,000 and that's perfect we're happy with that so anyways so these beans come through these tubes this is actually a population counting eye and so is this one the rest of these just sense if the tubes are blocked or if there's an issue so <clears throat> the beans blow through these tubes they come down to the toolbar at the back of the tractor they blow through the tube they come down the tube this disc opener cuts open a trench this this disc opener is slightly angled to the side so that it opens up a trench there's a seed boot down in here the bean falls down the seed boot this firming uh, foot right here pushes down on that bean and makes sure that that bean is pushed down in the bottom of the seed furrow tight then this closing wheel comes along and it spins like a garden weasel and it throws just enough dirt that it covers that bean up. So real simple, nothing to it. The planter itself is very, very simple. There's nothing to it. There's just a handful of chains back here. There is an electric clutch that with a uh, switch in the cab, when I energize this electric clutch, it makes this drive the seed drive. So it's a pretty simple deal. The uh, Now the way a vacuum planter works, a vacuum planter has a plate, and in that plate is cells. And each one of those cells holds a seed. So you put a vacuum to the back side of that plate, and when that plate turns through the seed, the seed suck to it. And then when it gets to where it drops the seed, there's actually a blank spot on the back of the plate where it loses vacuum. When it loses vacuum, that seed falls off and falls down in the seed tube. So the vacuum is the opposite of this planter. This planter uses forced air to actually blow the seed through the planter and down into the ground. So there's a little quick anatomy of an air seeder and how it works. Uh, pretty simple, pretty simple concept. Um, Air seeders can be massive. Uh, there's out west, if you watch Welker Farms, their air seeders are massive. This is a small one compared to them. And them are actually called hoe drills. They don't have disc openers like this. They've actually just got a steel, like a, uh, oh, kind of looks like a small cul cultivator shovel that just digs through the ground and the seed blows out behind it and then there's just wheels that come behind and pack that shut. Kind of a simple concept. This is also a no-till planter. So when you want to no-till with it, you want to drop your three-point hitch down a little farther than what I have mine and you want these links to be level. 
when these are level this spring is stretched and it's putting its max down pressure onto this disc opener so this disc opener will cut corn stalks corn roots or whatever's in its way or grass or sod or whatever out here in this fluffed up disc ground I, I carry the three point a little bit that way I don't put as much pressure down and I'm not forcing my seed past my target depth because you can actually force it down pretty hard and you can actually put the beans in a little deeper than what you intend to. So I have my slot marked for my lever on my three point and I only put it down so far. So looks like dad strength's done so I can continue planting. Uh, if you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Or if uh, you want to tell me how bad my videos suck and you don't want to watch them anymore, go ahead and tell me that too. So. But anyways, we appreciate you watching. We enjoy making these videos. Dad Strength really enjoys it. Maybe we can get him to wave. Can we get him to wave? I don't know if he's going to. He's probably glad to be out of the old rattle trap. But, oh, we love that tractor. We got a 9300, but we still love these old ones. So, uh, he's waving. There. So anyways, that's a little anatomy of an air seeder. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to get back to planting now since uh, I have some ground to plant.